An expert from the University of Alberta says that there is a helium shortage crisis going on in the province and across Western Canada. That's why this balloon is not floating. But the shortage could have a much more serious impact. When people think of helium, they think of balloons. But this impacts not just the balloons, not just the party favors. It impacts everything from medical research to, to basic scientific research and all of the cascading effects. Ryan McKay, NMR facility manager in the Department of Chemistry at the U of A says liquid helium is used to keep superconducting magnets cold so they can be used in research technology. Everything from MRIs to studying COVID inhibitors, i.e. antiviral drugs. You can imagine that the COVID-19 researcher who wants to study their inhibitor is all of a sudden impacted because the machine they need to use and see what they've created and see if it's working it's not available anymore. McKay says the shortage stems from issues at the U.S. supply plant, one of the three helium producers worldwide. Despite the university ordering emergency supplies from the East Coast, without a stable supply of helium, they're on track to lose their helium-dependent magnets by February 2022, which could have major implications. We would either have to try to re-energize them later or, uh, as happens far too often, the magnets become damaged and we're looking at millions and millions and millions of dollars of replacement equipment. In the chemistry department alone, at least 200 researchers use helium for their work. But in the broader sense, many more will be affected by this shortage. If you were to include MRI, mass spectrometry, you would be talking hundreds if not thousands of researchers across the campus and across Western Canada, Western United States. So what what happens now? McKay says he's hopeful that the U.S. helium plant will be repaired by January, but he also hopes the government of Canada will see this crisis as a reason to encourage more national production of helium. In Edmonton, Sans Helium, Sarah Chu, City News.